Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It's 4 a.m. bright and early here in Connecticut on the East Coast. And boy, do I have a doozy for you guys today. I restarted this video a couple of times because I have to get all this in. Okay, I'm going to start with telling you guys know that I have a account on TikTok, right? And I am not a big fan of TikTok. I'm not. It's an angry, childish it's people that have very small, angry ideas just barking at each other and a lot of underage stuff and not a fan of it. I'm not. I, I got an account on there as an advertisement for you, my YouTube channel. That's that's the honest truth. I'm not going to bully you guys. That was, that was my whole idea. Um, okay, so on TikTok lately, I've seen some chatter about, don't worry. These are the, this is the people that were all disheartened on January 20th that uh, the storm didn't come. The day of reckoning didn't come. That letter of the alphabet, that anonymous letter of the alphabet, those people were all over TikTok. Literally, there was a, this lady, there's this famous lady now on TikTok that's just bawling. Please, President Trump, the flags are all gone. Please come help us. And she, literal tears, man. She's hysterical crying for President Trump to come and save us. No lies. No exaggeration. Real tears, man. All right. So now there's this chatter on TikTok about March 4th. They're saying, don't worry. You know, he's coming back. It's a, okay, this is what happens. This it reminds me of the whole end of the world thing, right? It was supposed to be uh, 1988, December, blah, blah, blah. Never happened. Oh, okay. We got a new theory now. Now we know the real date. It was uh, 1999. Never happened. Okay, wait a second. Now we really know the date. It's it's 2021. Right? You know, you know how the end of the world theory go. You know, they keep moving it up. And the the thing is, why why I'm laughing here is because more and people, more and more people get pushed out of this this ridiculous rabbit hole. Every time it doesn't come true and the date gets moved up, more and more people actually come to their senses and and take a step back. And say, wait a minute, you know, you know, this doesn't really make sense. You know, this is this is crazy. Um, you know, I could see people are curious. You know, people think, well, there might be something hidden from me. You know, and that's how they start going down the rabbit hole. But when these dates, these prophecies don't come true, one after the next after the next, it's, it pushes people out. We saw that on January twentieth. So that's why I'm not. I'm taking this rather lightly. Now, let me say, first of all, I am not a part. I, I, I am here to make fun of and laugh at and uh, thank this theory for pushing more people out of this ridiculous uh, letter of the alphabet theory. I, I do not believe in it. I think it's ridiculousness. Okay, let me go on here. Okay, this is the idea. This is the premise. It sounds like... The, the people that are still left in the letter of the alphabet, that letter of the alphabet, this is the sign for it, the letter of the alphabet, the anonymous letter, and sovereign citizens. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these people believe that they they don't have to obey the laws of America. It, it really seems like a childish thing with me. It seems like, you know, it reminds me of kids, you know, that I, these, these laws, these things don't apply to me. Why do I have to go to my room? You know, the people that get pulled over and say that they're traveling, and not driving a car, that, that's one of my, that's, you know, what's wrong with you people, man? There's millions of people across this country operating a couple tons of machinery at uh, dangerously high speeds. And yes, it has to be regulated. You know, the, 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 the government isn't trying to take control over you. Ridiculous. It's like a bunch of children. But anyway, okay, let me get back to this. Okay, so on March 4th, March 4th used to be the original inauguration date before it was January 20th. It was moved from January 20, uh, from March 4th to January 20th in 1933. Okay, so all th this, these two groups are kind of coming together. And they're saying that on March 4th, Donald Trump is going to come back and take power and, and put Biden in, Gua in Gitmo. And this is the real date now, March 4th, okay? And this is the reasoning why. Because Donald Trump is going to assume the president's, the 19th presidency. And this is why. Because the act of 1871, during Ulysses S. Grant's presidency, now this is their convoluted idea here. Ulysses S. Grant was president from 1869 to 1877, Okay, now these people profess, they seem to think that the 
the country no longer became it was a republic, and it turned into a corporation under Ulysses S. Grant's presidency. And they, they talk about this act of 1871, which, which supposedly turned the country from a republic into a, a, a corporation. Okay, so they believe that on March 4th, this is all going to be rescinded. And the 19th, Donald J. Trump is going to come back on March 4th, and he's going to assume the role of the 19th president, which is uh, taking up where Ulysses S. Grant was. So the, they're basically saying that the whole period from 1871 to 2020 is null and void because the country was a corporation. This is a combined, cons combined theory of the anonymous letter of the alphabet trying to make sense of Trump not bringing the storm back on January 20th. So they moved the date to March 4th. And they're kind of teaming up with this other group, Sovereign Citizens, to, to get this convoluted idea. Now, now here's a couple of, the, here's a little of their reasoning, okay? The nationalregister.gov is where they list all of uh, the president's actions, everything he does, all the, all the laws he passed, all, all, everything he does. And their reasoning is that his executive orders have not shown up on that government, federal, the uh, federalregister.gov. They have not shown up on there. So they're, therefore, they're not, even, they're not even real. And another thing that they, uh, they list as evidence is the National Guard still being all around Washington. Because that National Guard is going to be used to arrest uh, Joe Biden and send him to Gitmo and bring Donald J. Trump back in on March 4th. In all his glory as 19th president of the United States, restoring the republic that it was supposed to be from the corporate, the uh, the evil corporation that it had turned into since Ulysses S. Grant till to, to, to 2020. I know it's confusing. It took me a couple takes on here to get this straight. And why am I laughing? Because this is just ridiculous. The more that this date gets moved on, we all saw a bunch of people jump off the queue. The, the Q train on January 20th. Um, you know, they were all over TikTok. These, I'll, just, I'll, I'll be polite and just call them Trump supporters. Crying and bawling. And, you know, I, you know they, they felt they were lied to. And see, as, as this date gets moved forward, I, I really think it's almost good that it pushes, the rabbit hole gets deeper, but it pushes more people out. More and more people come to their senses and, you know, reality finally hits them that, you know, maybe they're going, they're chasing a dead end here. So we'll see when, my, when March 4th comes around, uh, hopefully it'll wait, it'll be the, the alarm waking up a few more people that, uh, you know, the stuff they're believing isn't, isn't true. A great, I'll, I'll have the link down below. There's a Rolling Stone article on this whole thing. Uh, I'll be back later. There's so much more I want to talk about with the, uh, the impeachment and everything else going on. All right. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good Tuesday.